with New York City's ever-expanding bike infrastructure, I was always curious if it was possible to bike to JFK Airport. So I did some research on Google Maps, and initially it seemed as if the Van Wyck Expressway and the JFK Expressway were the only ways to get to the terminals by road. I thought there must be a way for pedestrians and cyclists to access the terminals, so I took an adventure to find out. This is a map of where the Van Wyck Expressway and the JFK Expressway cross over the Belt Parkway. Bicycles and pedestrians are prohibited on these roads, making the only entrance for pedestrians and cyclists past the Belt Parkway via 150th Street from the Queens neighborhood of South Ozone Park. This clip is what I experienced on my trip on that street. So here I am crossing over the Belt Parkway and I decided to take the sidewalk here because it was relatively empty and plus that main road looked like a highway. However, the sidewalk here had a little bit of debris but the safety measures outweighed the cons. This is where it gets interesting because I saw a sign for a bike route as well as painted markings so I thought this definitely must be the way into the terminals. The road to my left doesn't go anywhere near the terminals, only to some cargo areas and a shipping center, so the only logical way was to go straight. Here, the sign for the bike route ends, and it ends in a bus stop, which I found extremely strange. So that looks like the highway. And I don't think it's possible to bike in the JFK. So I'll just turn around. With 150th Street out of the question, I decided to look for an alternative. And that's when I found Lefferts Boulevard which goes somewhat close to the airport and decided to give it a try. Here I am on Lefferts Boulevard crossing over the Belt Parkway. There's a sign here stating that the airport terminals are to the left, but that would just lead me back to where I was before. Plus, there was a bike route here, so I thought maybe I was on to something. This is where the bike route ends and I was just curious why there were bike routes that were just ending in the middle of nowhere with no way to get into the terminals. And that's when I saw these bike racks and it was right next to the air train station. At first I wasn't sure if the air train had a fare or not, but I found out that if you exit the air train or enter the air train at either the Howard Beach station or the Jamaica station, you get charged five dollars otherwise it's free so can you bike to JFK sure you can but you can't access the terminals by road you need to leave your bike and either take the air train in or take a bus 
You can also take your bike onto the air train itself according to the Port Authority but if you're traveling somewhere on a flight I wouldn't know where you'd lock your bike.